as I discussed at the end of the last video, um, we've given this a test. It didn't really work particularly well. Didn't show you it not working, but trust me, it didn't work. I've taken the valves back out. Um, I was going to put O-rings on. I may well at some point. So the plan was put O-rings on the valve heads, see what happens. But I've come up with another idea for the time being. I've put air into the loco. There's no valves, so it can't run anywhere. I have opened the regulator and there is about 10, 15 pounds in there. Obviously, the regulator is open, but I can feel it coming out the chimney. That's possible because it's going down into the steam pipes, it's going everywhere. So it could be going to exhaust and up the chimney. I'm covering the steam port in the middle of the cylinder on both cylinders. And there is a rush of air up the chimney. A lot of air coming up the chimney. So I am now convinced that it is blowing past the liners. So I need to take the liners out and look at how they're sealing on the, um, how the liners seal inside the block. Only once I've done that and resealed the liners, can I then think about, or, or can I then think about the piston, the valves? Um, although I'm saying the liners are passing and I need to think about resealing them, I may end up destroying them, taking them out. So it may be a case of new liners once I've uh, once I've taken them out. So that's where we are. Um, I need to do a bit of consideration before I decide what I'm going to do with this. Um, at the moment, I don't know whether I'm going to do this now or finish another project, the, the pom-pom I've been working on, um, because this is a bit more major than I was hoping. So yeah, for now, it is what it is. It is a project. Um, I've always said, as nice as it is to have, as great as it is to have lovely locos, um, if you haven't done anything to them yourself, it's very... It's, so when I first had my first engine, I loved driving it. My, my Speedy, I loved driving it. It was my pride and joy. And then when I rebuilt it, I got so much more satisfaction from it. So as lovely as this is, and it's a beautiful engine, um, and if it was running, it would be great fun to play with. But once I've rebuilt it and rebuilt those cylinders, it will give me even more pleasure to run. So as frustrating as it is, I'm not 100% disappointed because at the end of the day, I will learn from sorting the cylinders out and I will enjoy the process of sorting the cylinders out I will learn from it and I'll get more satisfaction running it afterwards so there we go for now um, I will keep you posted on where I go with this but for the time being it's going to pause um, I'm away at the weekend so next weekend so it might wait until after then before I actually start deciding what to do with it. So for now, thanks for watching. I uh, sorry this has been a short one, uh, but it's diagnosed the problem and pushed it beyond a quick fix. Um, it does mean there'll be a few more videos about sorting it out, but for now, thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Well, that was probably quite a short thought process. As much as I was trying to kid myself that I probably won't be looking at this now, um, it just got the better of me. Uh, so although I said that was the end of the video, as you can see, 
we are well underway getting this block off. I've had enough for tonight, which is annoying because this block is ready to come off bar the, the screws actually holding it on. Uh, my plan is when I get that block off, I can follow the same procedure again that I've just done, basically. Um, I can block up the steam pipe, put air into the boiler, open the regulator, block up this steam pipe, and on the other side, block up the passage inside the block. That will eliminate or prove that the left-hand block is leaking. Um, if the left-hand block is leaking, that doesn't mean the right-hand one isn't. But if it's not leaking, it means that the problem is definitely the right one. So, yeah, that's a job for the morning. I will get this block off, uh, give it a, a pressure test. Um, so, although I'll be doing the, the left-hand one on the, on the loco, the right-hand one I will put air into the port from above, block the hole from below if air's coming out then it's leaking. If that is the case, which I'm sure it will be for one or the other cylinder, or both, then I need to come up with a plan. I've got a couple of ideas, but we need to see what the situation is first. But if it's leaking, the line has got to come out. So now I will see you next time. So please like, comment, share, do whatever you like. Uh, subscribe, yes, please do subscribe. I've at the time of recording this, overwhelmed, um, it was 798 viewers, subscribers last time I looked, so thank you each and every one of you. Um, I wonder when I'll get to a thousand. That's a, a total that seems so unbear unbelievable uh, just a few months ago, uh, yet now I'm, I'm sort of wondering when I'll get there, if I'll get there still, but it does look more likely so yeah please do subscribe and i will catch up with you next time